Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. For today's video, I just wanted to film a entire Shiggy treat collection because so many people kept asking in the comments what kind of treats I offer my Shiggies and I know I filmed a couple of different videos on this topic but now I'm just going to show you the entire Shiggy Treat collection in one video so that you get an idea of what I like to offer my Shiggies and maybe what they like best. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. This is my Shiggy drawer. This is where I keep most of the supplements and the treats that I have for them. Also, I have a couple more boxes down there and of course the items that I use the most I have repackaged in bottles or containers. So for example, I have over here my yogurt drops because this is this jar is usually inside of the living room where the shiggies are so that I can just reach out whenever I want to give them a treat. Also, I have over here some mini marshmallows and these I only have inside the glass, I don't have any in the drawer. I have my mixture that I always make for them for during the day. It's almost out, I'm running out, so I have to make a new one. But I have that as well. Island Blend Treats was the name. You can't really see it because... Because of the sugar contact, the glass is kind of white. <laughs> but. Those are my Island Blend treats. Then I also have some palettes in here. Those are the Bugs, Grubs and Berries. I use them at the moment for my dried mixture and because it's easier to reach for this bottle right here, I have repackaged some of them in here. And also these are my Suncoast palettes, Chicken and Rice Blend I think they're called. And I like to use those as well with their dried mixture. They really love this stuff. And I think this is the only glider palette that is human grade. So it can be consumed by humans. They smell really good too, to be honest. And I have a big bag of these. You'll see that in a moment. And then um, in here, because I didn't have the space inside the drawer, I have this little box where I keep my Suncoast palettes because I have a humongous portion. And the reason why I have this many is because a dear friend of mine really wanted me to try these out for the Shiggies and so he sent me, or he brought me, this big bag right here but I only have four sugar gliders so it's it's going to take a while until it's used up but my shiggies really love these and here I have my mixture of flowers and petals for the dried mix and I have some calendula, cornflower, rose, hibiscus I don't know if there's anything else in there too, but at least these four flowers I can see at the moment. I made this mixture a couple months back and I still have a lot of it, so that's why I keep it in this bag and down here and whenever I need it for the dried mix, I just take it out. Then over here, I keep my meds for them, but that's not relevant for this video, so I'm not going to show that part because I have a whole video on what I keep at home for emergencies anyway. And this is the treat drawer. And I have it separated into compartments. I can take out the boxes whenever I need something. For example, I have a whole box for the SGS2 diet, so when I'm making the SGS2 diet, I can simply take out this box right here, put it on the counter, use the items, put them back inside, and there you go. And so here I have my oatmeal for the mush, nothing special. So the difference between the oatmeal from the Shiggy Shop, which would be this one right here, and the oatmeal that I can purchase, let me show you. So this is the oatmeal that I can purchase from where I live. And this is the oatmeal that I can purchase from the Shiggy Shop. This is the difference. So this is why I decided to order from the Shiggy Shop instead. Because I just wanted to make sure that I was doing everything right. 
So in here, I keep my supplements for the SGS2 diet. I have the bee pollen, but to be quite honest, I only use those for the insects because I have fresh bee pollen for the sugies. I have my wheat germ for whenever I'm not using the oatmeal. Then we have spirulina over here. So this was a long time ago when I got it from the sugie shop because the ingredient was still secret back then. And a bunch of us were trying it out on their shiggies to see how the results were and we were documenting it. So that's why it says secret ingredient. It's not a secret anymore because now everyone knows how good it is and a lot of people use it for the diet. Then I have acacia gum, Wamburu high protein supplement, two boxes or two bags. And this is my linseed. I have it ground but you don't have to use ground linseed. You can also just use the normal ones and then let's continue over here i have their baby food and i have this i think in three varieties yeah three so i have um peach and apple mango strawberry banana and apple berries and apple with peach and they don't have any sugar added just the sugar from the fruit they're really good i like to add about one spoon for their mix for the day every now and again i don't use this very often and i would add that for two maybe three days in a row and then i would just eat or drink the rest because it's, it tastes really good i really like it so that's that the benemark probiotic powder is something that i've had since I first got my first two shiggies and I've been really happy with the results and I like to use it very often when I feel like they have an upset tummy or just add it to their food just as a probiotic source. Oh wait, I still need that. Then we have over here the sugar glider melon and strawberry jelly treat and I've already tried it out or well the shiggies have and I have to say they liked it so I'm going to use them more often and I have my calcium as well the Zolcal D this is what I've been using for years now well not, not this bottle obviously but this brand and let's just put that back inside where should I start now okay I'm just going to take this out first so over here I have their flowers I have eucalyptus, I have the chopped hibiscus, I have cornflower, I have dried rose, and I have marigold. And then because I didn't have any more space in the other tub, I also keep the SGS Complete Diet in here, the pellets. I like to have a couple different types of pellets for the dried mix just to offer them something different each time. So let's just put that back in. I have some pumpkin puree in case they get diarrhea or constipation. You should always keep this on hand for your shiggies. Then let's just put this on the side. I'm sorry this bench looks this way. This is how I got it when I first moved in here. I actually got it with the apartment and I would really love to repaint it at some point. So over here we have some more palettes. We have the insectivore palette. And then we have the berries, bugs and grubs. And some more berries, bugs and grubs because this is what I like to use the most for the shiggies. I would just like to mention at this point that even though it might look that way, this video is not sponsored by the shiggy shop. I just genuinely love the products offered over there and that's why I have so many. So then I have over here my treats for kids this is strawberry apple with yogurt and this is apple banana with yogurt this one is still not opened this one i've opened and i have tried it out too and this tastes delicious i'm really happy with those drops i'm really happy with them the shiggies like them too and sometimes i like to offer them half of one of these per sugar glider they would be this big and over here is my first box with treats i keep in here most of my fruit treats and so i have my apple sorry my apple treats then i have my papaya treats some more papaya treats i have some pineapple treats i have 
some mango treats and some more mango treats because my shiggies really love mango treats. And this is a mixture of fruit and veggies that I purchased from Megazoo. And I really liked using it for the shiggies because I like the content of the mixture. Unfortunately though, as you can see, these are not really shiggy size. They're very big. So I always have to chop them before adding them to the mix and it's a bit tedious. That's why I will use this up from the Megazoo store, but I have something else from the Shiggy shop instead for the future. Let's just put these back in there. Good. Then over here we have more treats. So this is my yogi box. I just call it this way because this is where I keep my emergency yogis. And at the moment I have two bags of emergency yogis in here. I have the emergency yogis for whenever this jar right here becomes empty. That way I still have at least one bag of yogis and have some time to order from the shiggy shop. Not a lot of time because they eat a lot of yogis. So I have two bags of yogurt drops, then I have some blueberry treats and as most of the dried stuff in here, you can offer them as treats. What I like to do is mix them in their dried mix. I have some coconut chips, unsweetened. These ones I purchased from my local supermarket. I have some coconut treats from the Shiggy shop. And I also have some Gliderade. Gliderade is a nectar. You mix this with water two or three times a week. I especially like to use this for Nala. And I mix it for her at least every other day so she can hopefully finally gain some weight. My Shiggies really love the Gliderade, but you can't really overdo it because they will gain too much weight if they're of normal size. So be careful. And plus they will get bored if you offer this every single day. And then over here I have more Gliderade. This is my second pack because there's no space in here. Then I have some insect gut loader that I use for my insects. I actually have two bags of this right here. And I like to sprinkle this on top of my mealworms the night before I serve them. That way they can eat some of this gut loader and they have more nutrients inside and they're just nutritionally more balanced and adequate for sugar gliders. Then this is what I want to use instead of the fruit and veggie mixture that I purchased from Megazoo. This is the fruit and veggie mixture that you can purchase from the Shiggy shop. And I already have one box or one bag that's been opened. So I, I've used this already because I got impatient and I didn't want to chop even more. And my Shiggy's really love this. It's a great mix. It contains great veggies and fruit. And so I have three bags of this at the moment. I have one more bag of SGS Island Blend Treats for emergencies whenever the other ones run out. And then I have some monkey biscuits over here. And this was it. This is my... There we go. This is my treat drawer. These are the items that I have for my sugar gliders. I know it looks like a lot, but I like to buy a lot of stuff for them. And I know it looks like an ad, but it's really not. I just purchased most of my stuff from the Shiggy shop. That was my video on our Shiggy treat collection. And if you have any more questions, feel free to ask in the comments down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more videos like this one, we have Facebook. Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, and I will add all of the links and names in the description box below if you want to follow us over there. So thank you so very much for watching this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!